What is up guys, welcome to another video and today we have some more Need for Speed 2015 content and today we're going to be recreating Vix Supra from uh, Most Wanted 2005. Now if you remember this car back in Most Wanted 2005, it was OP as fuck. You could literally complete the whole game with Vix Supra. I'm not sure what it had underneath the hood, whether it was the Junkman parts, whether it was, you know, the, just the car in general, but this car was incredibly special to me. It was always one of those cars which I really, really wanted in the storyline because of how good it really was. You can literally go through the whole storyline with Vic Supra and you you unlocked it so early on. I believe he was around Blacklist 13, 12, somewhere around there. So you got it pretty early on and I've got to say, it was one of the best cars in the game. I'd say next to the M3 GTR on my perspective anyway. I mean, it really depends. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and recreate it in Need for Speed 2015, obviously, as um, they kind of put this livery in with the Legends update. Now, um, you will notice uh, there's a few kind of liveries on the car, like the Speed Hunters liveries and stuff, um, which are, aren't really true to the original design. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is get rid of all of that in a minute, just so it's literally like the one from Most One 2005 and no different. You'll see that very, very shortly right now. You can see me quickly just getting rid of all of the window stickers and whatnot. And then obviously customised all the parts accordingly. I did put the stock spoiler on for the basic reason um, there is not really a similar spoiler that looks like the one Vic used. And I think it looks best with the stock spoiler. So we're going to go ahead and use that one. There isn't any like real low spoilers. They're all quite high drift drift tune spoilers, so that's why I used the stock uh, spoiler, the stock stu super spoiler, and then obviously there's 52 rims with the best I could use um, for the purpose that, that that obviously I was using it for. Now um, I did take it out for a race. I think this was a Legends wheels, and honestly I don't think I did that well. I think I could have done a lot better, but holy moly, I put a grip tune on this car, and I've got to say it was an absolute blast to drive around with. Surprisingly, the Supra, yeah, it was really good. I didn't expect it to be as good as it really was but it was and I don't really know why <laughs> it seems like if you're gonna use a Supra you'd most likely use it for drift events and although the back back end really did kick out at some points it wasn't like overly drifty it wasn't overly like oversteery um, it was really good I really enjoyed it and I can definitely see myself using it in the future now comparing it to the 911 which is kind of the god circuit car I'd honestly say it's not far off um, I'd say one thing is that it struggles with from the acceleration at some points when you're around 4,000 to 5,000 RPM. But besides that, it's a pretty goddamn good car. And um, definitely, I'd definitely suggest it if you are looking to get kind of a, a drifty grip build, if that makes sense. So a car which can get around corners sideways, but at the same time, it's a grippy drift car, not like a just complete mad car. Honestly, I'd say it's the perfect car for Gymkhana, um, if you're trying to reach the target scores at least. If you're trying to exceed the start target scores, you might have sign up issues um, and honestly I wouldn't suggest it over the 911 because the 911 is just OP um, but for what it is it's really good I recommend trying it in a drift build because I have tried it in the drift build as well and the drift build is absolutely insane anyway if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to go ahead hit the like subscribe I will see you guys in the next one you guys have been awesome stay safe and peace